Hello students, welcome to the first practical of human anatomy and physiology. As I told you in my live interaction, you have to make a practical file which will be ruled from one side and plain from the other and that will be a thread file, right? We have around 13 to 15 practicals to complete in this semester and today we will be starting with the first practical, right? So let's start. Talking about the practicals, when you write your practical in your practical notebook or your practical file, there are certain points that you need to keep in mind. The first thing that you will write in your practical file is the heading, that is practical number one, right? Underneath that, there are certain points and the serial of the points will be the same, right? The first will be your aim. The second will be the reference, third will be the requirement, fourth will be the theory and fifth will be the conclusion or your result. In the case of a theoretical practical that is the for example considering today's practical which is the study of compound microscope, if we do not write any result or conclusion that is also fine but if you want to write a conclusion you can write that the compound microscope was studied. right? Now, uh, starting with the practical, the aim is to study about the compound microscope. Reference I have written. Reference is basically a reference of a book or a reference of a website from where you took the matter from, right? Then in this particular practical, the requirement is just a compound microscope, right? So we'll write requirement as compound microscope. Coming to the theory, what is a microscope? A microscope is an instrument which is used to see objects which are too small and they cannot be seen through the naked eye, right? Then the next term is microscopy. So microscopy is the science of, uh, you know, looking into small objects and investigating basically small objects and structures using a microscope. And microscopic means objects which are very small, which cannot, which are not visible to the naked eye. And they can only be seen with the help of a microscope. Now coming to the compound microscope, there are basically two types of microscopes, simple and compound, right? So a compound microscope is basically a high resolution microscope that uses a compound and a complex lens system. So a compound microscope is also termed as a high resolution or high power microscope which achieves basically higher levels of magnification than a simple microscope. It is basically used to view smaller objects such as cell structures, then tissues, the structure of different tissues in a human body, right? Compound microscope has two types of lens, one being the objective lens and the other being the eyepiece lens, right? In a compound microscope, there are four objective lenses. One being of 4x power, second being of 10x power, third being of 40x power and the last being of 100x power. This means that first lens magnifies the object four times, the second lens magnifies the object ten times, right? And the eyepiece is basically used to obtain high magnification. Now talking about the parts of a compound microscope. Compound microscope basically consists of an eyepiece, a body tube, coarse adjustment, fine adjustment knob, objective turnets where the objective lens are put, objective lens, stage, stage clips, right, condenser, lamp and the base. Certain compound microscope, instead of having lamp, they have mirrors. We will discuss the function of all these parts in the coming slide. So let's start. Now, there are basically two categories in which the parts of a microscope can be divided. One being the mechanical parts and one being the optical parts. Mechanical parts are those parts which help in the construction of the microscope and the optical parts are the parts which help in the basically magnification of the objects which are kept on the stage. Now, first is your eyepiece. Okay, so eyepiece is a lens through which a viewer or any person who view, who has to view the uh, object is seen through, right? And the eyepiece usually consists of 10x or 15x power lenses. Then second is your body tube. Body tube is also termed as head. So this is the part of the body that connects the eyepiece and the objective lens. 
then comes your arm arm basically acts as a support system and they connect the body tube to the base of the microscope then coarse adjustment knob and fine adjustment knob coarse adjustment knob basically brings the specimen into general focus right and fine adjustment knob it helps in removing the blurness of the object if an object is blur to you then by using fine adjustment knob you can make the object more clear it basically brings the object in a proper focus coming to the objective lens a standard microscope has basically 3 to 4 objective lens which range from 4x to 100x as i told you in my previous slide and eyepiece we discussed early also this is a lens through which the viewer looks and it usually consists of 10x and 15x power lenses now the next part is the stage the stage is basically a flat pla platform where the slide is placed stage clips are the metal clips which are used to hold the slide in a proper position so that the slides don't move aperture is a hole in the middle of the stage you must have seen the black stage and in the middle of the black stage there's a hole with a glass cover so the hole in the middle of the stage that allows the light of the illuminator to reach the specimen or through the mirror the light is reflected to the object through your aperture now what is illumination or a illuminator this is the light source for a microscope in earlier times the light source was a mirror and in today's time it can be a bulb which you can you know turn on and turn off then the base the base supports the microscope and it's where the illuminator is also located So thank you so much dear students this was all in today's practical what you can do you can even write a conclusion after the practical when you write it in the notebook you can write the different parts of the compound microscope were successfully studied right if you have any queries any doubt in today's practical please feel free to reach out to me thank you so much for attending the practical thank you